So, as if my video about all of the maps for Battlefield Hardline wasn't enough yesterday, I'm back today with some more information about the upcoming beta for Battlefield Hardline. Now I'm sure the first thing on your mind is, do we have a release date yet? Unfortunately, no, we still don't have a release date for the beta, but it may have been suggested that we will find out when that date is next Wednesday. You can see on a tweet stream here from the official Battlefield account that it seems to suggest we will get the announcement next Wednesday. That's not confirmed and I'm getting a little bit tired of saying this because we still don't know when it's coming out and it just seems like we're getting announcement after announcement after announcement. I mean, yeah sure, I'm excited for the beta but I'd really like to know when it is now. I can't wait to get my hands on this game. Besides not having a date though, we do have a progress update for what we're going to be getting in the beta. The community test, or the community mission, that was set by the Visceral developers of scoring 2 billion points in the rush game mode in Battlefield 4 has been achieved, which means we will have access to a third game mode and third map. That game mode is going to be Heist, which is one of the game modes we played in the first beta, all the way back in June 2014 now, and the map is bank job and that makes me really excited. As I've said before, I have had the opportunity to play every single map within Hardline but I can't tell you too much about it. But from the screenshots I showed you yesterday, it really does seem to fit that cops and robbers theme really well. And from the fact that it just is a bank building with a couple of streets surrounding it, if you like close quarters gameplay, this is going to be a map for you. And as if that wasn't enough good news, we have even more. In the beta, you will have full access to everything available to unlock in the final version of Battlefield Hardline. So all of your primary weapons, all of your secondary weapons, gadgets, camos, everything, you name it, is going to be in there for you to unlock. The catch is, you have to play the game as much as you want to be able to unlock something. There isn't a linear unlock process like Battlefield 4, for example. You first of all unlock the AK-12, and then you unlock the next assault rifle, and then the next assault rifle. In Hardline, it doesn't work like that. As you play a game, you will build up cash that you get for doing team-based objectives within the game itself. So if you kill an enemy, you're going to get some cash for that. If you take an objective, you're going to get some cash for that. So as that builds up, you then have the option to either save that cash and unlock something further down the line, or you can spend it right away on something that's a little bit lower down the table. Now I don't know about you guys, but that does sound like a really interesting prospect to me. I have full control over what I unlock, and I think that's how most games should work. I really, really liked that system in the original Black Ops game for Call of Duty where you had to build up the money that you wanted to unlock something and depending on how good a weapon was, you had to sort of build up more cash in order to unlock that. And the fact that they've gone for that system in Hardline, which kind of makes sense with the cops and robbers theme, is a really, really good choice I think. You're giving the user control of what they want to do with the game and you're not dictating on how they unlock something, you're not trying to guide them through the game. You're basically giving them full control and access to what they want to choose. And to give you a kind of sneak peek at what you can expect to be unlocking in the beta, the Rad Gamer Dan has gone through the latest battle log update files and managed to find some really cool assets for us to have a look at. His link is in the description by the way. So here on the screen right now, we have a look at all of the camos that will be available for you to unlock. And uh, some of them are more garish than others, and some of them are a little bit more plain. But I think there's something there for everybody. But I really do admire the ballsy attitude that the devs have got with this game. They really don't seem to be going by the rules at all, uh, at least for a Battlefield game. And I think that's really cool. And next up, we have what looks like the gold, silver and bronze weapons that you can get within Hardline. Now, if rumour has it, these camos are going to be extremely hard to obtain. And I'm not sure if it's weapon specific or if you can grind out the camo for everything that you then unlock. At the moment, I'm unsure whether that's the case. I'd like to think that it was individual for each thing within the game. Imagine being like one of the only people in the game to maybe get a gold camo for the AKM, for example. I'm sure lots of people will end up getting the gold camo for the AKM, but imagine getting that. You, you kind of earned that. I think that would be a really cool way to go forward. 
There are plenty of other things that have been found today, but I don't really know if it's worth going through all of them. So what I'm going to do is link an imager gallery in the description that's been collated with all the different things that have been found in the battle log code today. And I will also link a Reddit link as well so that you can have a look at some of the weapons, at least in text form, that you can expect to be using as well. Phew, we managed to get through it all. I didn't think we'd get there, to be honest. <laughs> There's a lot of information coming out for this game right now, but I want to say a massive thank you to you guys. You've been really, really supportive of Hardline since I started doing these news videos. I think it's really important that I keep you guys up to date. I have an ever-growing subscriber base. I've now passed 70,000 subscribers, and that's only happened in a very short space of time, and it was not long ago that I was at 60. So thank you so much for subscribing, and... I just want to repay you guys by carrying on making the videos that you really like to watch. So I hope you're enjoying my coverage, and as soon as we get access to the beta, you know I'll be all over it. But thank you very much for watching today, guys. That is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, if you could leave me a rating and a comment, that'd be greatly appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.